All right, this is going to be a review video of the uh, 2000 uh, Explorer uh, XLW230 um, Class B motorhome. Uh, it's for sale, and uh, it's built on the Dodge uh, Ram van, and it has the uh, the 360 uh, motor in it, V8. It's got plenty of power for this application. Uh, it's got a pretty big alternator, as you can see in there. Uh, these are the electrical systems for the house, so it can uh, the alternator can charge the house batteries. So it's an isolator. Um, you can see I installed the Ampel Start, which uh, charges the house batteries off of the, uh, the charges the engine battery off the house batteries. And the house batteries are charged by solar, so in a sense you're keeping your engine battery topped off with the solar. Anyway, it's pretty clean in here. It's uh, been well taken care of. Um, everything works, uh, and there's no issues that I can sense uh, with the motor or the radiator or the transmission. Let's see. All right. Uh, the uh, original owner had um, put uh, a bug screen across the front of this, and it kept this chrome in excellent tip-top shape. Uh, the headlights are even shiny. They've never needed to be polished. They didn't get faded because it was always garage kept, and there are no dings really in the front. Um, the paint's in good condition. It's, uh, you know, it's tw almost 20 years old, since 18 years old. Uh, so it has a few chips and dings here and there uh, that can be cleaned up. But uh, I've buffed it and waxed it, and uh, I took the vinyl swoopy stripes off of it. So um, that wasn't for me, but I did leave the bottom vinyl, and of course it matches the uh, brown of the running boards. Running boards have a few pop marks in them. They could use either some touch up or maybe some filler and a respray of just those. Um, it does have the uh, wheel liners, uh, the stainless steel wheel liners, and they're in good shape uh, all around. Of course, this uh, has the dualies, so you can see that it has the dual wheel kit, uh, which adds to stability. Uh, these are fairly short wheelbase, so. Um, with the dualies on the back and with the wider track and the Hellwig sway bar system front and back, which is some pretty massive sway bars, um, it uh, drives really well uh, for this vintage uh, of uh, a truck. So uh, I think you'd be happy with uh, the way it handles. If you if you can handle a pickup truck, you should have no trouble with this van. Um, it's got power mirrors that fold, they fold manually of course. Um, and then uh, it has, uh, you see, let's see if we can get in there, 64, 989 miles. So it's got plenty of life left into it. Uh, the windows are all awning style. Uh, they pop out, and you crank them out, and uh, you can have a nice cross ventilation when it's raining. Um, here is your, this is the uh, sewer valves and the, the hose uh, for the black and the gray tank. On these they called it uh, uh, liquid waste is your gray water. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's the way they did it. It's got a locking uh, gas cap, which is handy. Uh, here's your sewer uh, connector. And uh, then you've got uh, shore power, some 110 on this side of the van. You've got uh, I, I changed the outside lights to LED so they could burn all night and not use a lot of juice. Uh, this is your city water fill, and this is your uh, gravity water fill. Um, it's got two outside, well, three outside storage compartments. This is the first one. On most of their vans, this is where the generator would reside, but instead they give you a pull-out tray. And what I've done is I put four uh, lithium-ion 125 amp hour batteries. So 500 of amp hours of uh, total battery power. Put a, it's all uh, zero gauge wire, and I got an off uh, cutoff switch here. It's got a uh, battery uh, a, a shunt and a battery monitoring system for Magnum. So you can see all your amps in and amps out. Um, these compartment doors they have a lock, so uh, you can key lock them. I just left it unlocked for this uh, demonstration. Um, in the, uh, you got another uh, awning style window, and then you've got uh, 
Let's see, you got a class uh, five hitch, and then you've got, of course, the wiring uh, if you wanted to tow anything. Um, there's a, another dry storage here. This one, I um, keep all the, the jack and the water hoses and power cables. That's a good place for them there. And it goes all the way on each side to the outside of the van, so it's a really long uh, storage. Uh, again, another awning style window. And, uh, and then on this side, um, oh, and all of this storage is in the heated space of the van, because up above us is the sofa, and it's all open, so this all gets warm when you have the heater on. But this tray, um, I left all my stuff in here so you get a good sense of how much this will really hold. And look at this, this, this is tremendous. Um, holds all this gear, all this heavy gear on here. Plus there's a shelf above that runs all the way across under the sofa and on the other side I have my uh, my blocks to level and then I have some tables and stuff and you can put chairs in here or whatever you want to do. Um, of course there's a light in here and then uh, this locks into place and then it's got a um, barbecue table so isn't that nice you can have your grill right here if you don't have anything to set it on on the side of the road and uh, all this formica is in good shape and uh, it locks into place and then you can close this up like I said they they, they lock um, this is the support for the awning arms that come down it has a Fiamma F45 manual awning so you crank it out you don't have a motor to worry about um, the, uh, there's a barbecue uh, tap right there, so if you have a, a, a grill without a regulator, it'll work fine on there. Uh, more 110, of course this will run on the inverter too. All the outlets work on the inverter. Um, this is a Suburban Furnace uh, exhaust port, so that's hot. Um, like I said, the running boards are in good shape. There's one little spot on this one, I would put some filler on there and then probably smooth this out and, and respray it but it's just solid it's it doesn't have any problems it's just I think the previous owner bumped into something there or picked up something on the highway um, of course these doors this is a double door it's not a slider so you got double doors and then um, they open both sides and um, these windows are they have screens in them you can uh, pop them open there uh, so you can vent uh, which is nice on those days. Those nights you might want to sleep with a ventilator on. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Another mirror. You can see the awning. All right. I'll get a ladder and I'll show you what's up top. All right. Here up top, what we have is we have four 100 amp, I mean 100 watt solar panels. See the one up there from AM Solar. And of course we have the Max Air Deluxe fan. It's in its upright position because it's being programmed on temperature. So it's gonna stay open until it gets down in the evening here at below 72 and then it'll close on its own. Um, but these panels, these regularly put out 23 to 25 amps without any issues at all. In fact, uh, usually before lunch, it's topped up the batteries and um, you, uh, it doesn't need to take anymore, so it basically kind of shuts down. But uh, on some of my trips, where I use the inverter a lot, I get solar until late in the evening. Uh, it would still be trying to fill those batteries back up. And uh, so the more you burn, the more solar you're gonna get. But um, anyway, let me give you a wide shot of the van. Uh, so you can see, she's a beauty, she's a unicorn. Uh, you won't find another one as good a shape as this with the equipment that this one has on it. It's ready to go. I'd hit the road in it tomorrow. The only reason I'm selling it is I've bought a brand new Travato. So no man can have two vans, I guess. Otherwise, I'd keep it. But um, I hope whoever buys it enjoys it as much as I have. Thank you. All right, let's go in the van. All right. It may be hard to see inside here but it has the dinette and then this is the cab 
and uh, I'll show you the radio. So there's a new radio. And it has the retractable screen. And it has the uh, Apple CarPlay, so you can hook your phone to it and um, and uh, and uh, play uh, off of it your music, or you can um, use the navigation uh, off your phone. Anyway. It has a switch to play um, the radio off the house batteries or the engine batteries. And uh, when you turn the power off, then the screen will retract. There you go. So that was a nice upgrade. That's one of the first things I did. Uh, I added uh, two TVs, one in the front. This one comes off and there's a bracket um, on the outside of the van, uh, which I'll show you uh, in a minute, that uh, you can hang the TV up. Uh, you've got uh, all of your uh, dummy gauges, and then it's got uh, quite a bit of storage in the front. It's way deep. You can see how deep that goes, a couple of feet. It's got a big enough room for my drone. And then you've got some uh, outlets and uh, cable hookups and a 12 volt hookup in there. But that's good, and it's insulated. It doesn't really get that hot in there. Um, oh, here's the information uh, on the, the loadings that it'll take. Uh, this is the uh, Magnum inverter. Uh, you uh, can see what the voltages are, and uh, right now it's showing uh, 0.6 uh, amp draw. That's the ventilator fan that you can probably hear running. Uh, the refrigerator will come on, it'll be like two or three amps. And then um, it gives you a total of what's in and out for the day. So we're running, with the solar, we're running pretty much uh, uh, near 100% most of the time. To turn the inverter on, you just push this button here, and then you have uh, 120 volt in, in the entire uh, coach. Uh, this is a solar panel uh, monitor from the original solar panel. It came with like a 10 watt trickle charger that uh, I disconnected. So this is inoperative. I would take that off and put something uh, else there. There's, if you've got some other item that needs a control panel, you can put it there. Uh, as you can see, all the cabinet finishes, the laminate is all in excellent, uh, perfect shape. All the vinyls are in perfect shape. They're not discolored. Um, you can see I put uh, all new light fixtures. These are all LED light fixtures. Um, it's got a dedicated spot for your coffee maker. Um, you've got uh, curtains uh, to cover the uh, cab windows, which are really nice. They're kind of like skylights, and they're all in excellent condition. There's no fading of the glass or anything like that. Um, it does have curtains that run around the cab, so you can completely close off the cab uh, with these curtains, and they're secure with Velcro fasteners. Um, there's a flip up uh, for the kitchen counter, and I think you just, well, it's hard to do that with one hand, so. There we go. This is a flip up for another um, table that's in the back, I'll show you, but you can set it out here too. Um, and then this is a cabinet where the uh, water heater is. You can see this tube, this runs to the engine, so the engine will heat this water, or it's on one, uh, 110 volt, uh, so when you have shore power connected. Uh, I've noticed that it's good and hot, and um, it will stay hot for you know 12 hours or so, um, no problem. Uh, you have an outside shower, uh, this hot and cold water, fire extinguisher, this is the bracket I was telling you, you could hang a little TV on and watch outside. And then here's another access for uh, behind the cabinet. Uh, I keep pots and pans in here. Uh, and you can see there's a spare water filter. Uh, there's an inline water filter in there as well. Um, the, uh, the kitchen is got uh, a nice sink 
and it's got a uh, cooktop. This is an Atwood. Uh, it's really nice because there's really good burner control unlike on the Dometics. Uh, but uh, this clips up behind here so you can hold it up while you're cooking. I put in this knife rack, uh, magnetic knife uh, rack. And then you got a little shelf up here for some of your miscellaneous things. That uh, seems to ride up there okay. Um, and then I put a paper towel holder in there. Um, and then in these shelves, I put, I thought this was kind of waste of space, so I put another, I built the shelves to put in here. But if you don't like them, you can take them out. They just unscrew. But uh, there's plenty of storage for dishes. And then there's uh, a narrow cabinet here. And then uh, there's another one here that uh, I got a bunch of sundries in. But I, I, there's another shelf I built out of just thin plywood. And over here, this is the control for the uh, Max Air uh, Deluxe fan, which is right there. I had uh, that installed professionally, uh, which they did right away. But it's nice, it's got a uh, uh, cover, uh, so it can be opened in the rain. It's also, um, it controls based on temperature. I have it set to open and close at 72 degrees. Uh, this is your um, furnace control. So it's a gas furnace. Uh, it's, you can see the vent is right there. Uh, this is an altimeter. Uh, the original owner must have installed this. It comes out, but it tells you where you are above sea level, which we're pretty high up here, out in the Temecula. Of course, another fire extinguisher. Uh, this is the other side of that uh, cabinet with the um, pots and pans, and then it's got a nice little cutlery drawer. And uh, I hung these little triangle so you could hang a towel there. It's got an electric fridge and um, it's uh, got a little freezer compartment and uh, it's not very big but um, it's elect uh, it's DC and 110 it switches between them and uh, you'll notice when you turn the inverter on it draws more on, on uh, 12 amp um, on 110 volts than it does on the DC on 12 volts. Uh, here's another light fixture I installed, and uh, they're quite they're quite bright. Uh, I don't think you'll have any complaints with those. Um, this is one of uh, the features I like on this unit. Uh, it's got a pull-out pantry, so you can see it's quite a bit of storage, and it's all nicely tucked away, all your canned goods and dry goods, and then um, it locks into place uh, with this uh, lock, and then there's another storage above um, and then there's some storage below I've got a bunch of sundries like fuses and the chemicals um, you want to use every bit of storage you can on these vans and then uh, there's another one on the other side I keep some appliances and cleaning things there uh, but this is where you access the pump I put a new water uh, water pump in, a new 12 volt pump. Uh, I was just worried the, old, the original one was old. It still worked, but I uh, felt better with the new one. Uh, and those parts are readily available. Above there's a nice deep cabinet, and then a big one of two closets. It has a uh, drawer underneath, and then it's got a nice big compartment with a hanging bar. And this is where I installed the Victron uh, solar controller which is probably one of the best you'll ever find. And then there's a shutoff switch and a breaker in there. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. Um, and then I, uh, oh, I got a light in there, but yeah, you can see the, uh, the uh, switch that I installed in the, in the breaker. So you can cut the solar off. So if you're gonna work on it, that's a good idea, is to turn it off so there's no power flowing. Because believe you me, there's always power flowing from the uh, solar, it's so effective. And then here's another hanging closet um, and uh, another shelf. And then uh, it has a microwave oven, which works on 110. It's nearly new. Uh, the people that I bought this from put this in just before. Uh, another thing I did is installed a new air conditioner. The other one, the original one was 
had a pretty good amp draw and it uh, was ancient it was you know 19 years old and uh, this one is a high efficiency and it um, I think it only draws nine amps at its at the most um, but it's whisper quiet as well uh, I can run this on the battery pack uh, with the inverter running uh, which there may be occasion to do that um, and then I've got more storage uh, there was a VCR here, and I installed a PlayStation 4, which goes with the unit. You can use that as a Blu-ray player. It works really well. And then in here is some more supplies. This deep cabinet goes all the way uh, to the back of the unit from here, so there's a lot of deep storage there. Um, this is a little portable table. I use it as an end table, uh, but um, it slides off and fits in that bracket I showed you up front. Uh, I've got this made into a bed. I have a... Uh, a uh, three inch memory foam uh, topper and I just leave it set up as a bed but it is a power sofa and it's in perfect condition uh, you can uh, roll this uh, pad up put it in the closet and you can make this a couch and have passengers it's belted um, in the back of course you got curtains all the way around privacy shades and then um, I've got this 24-inch uh, uh, LCD TV uh, that uh, comes with it, and it's on a tilt and swivel bracket, and uh, you can um, put it up here if you're not going to use it. I don't use much TV, and then uh, I velcroed the uh, the uh, remote to the wall. There's an original stereo system that drives the speakers back here. Uh, it isn't very pretty. It's kind of a joke it's, if you're into modern electronics, but it does work. Uh, what else? Um, all the carpet is in perfect condition. I put this runner down so it wouldn't get worn out. I, I was tempted to uh, uh, replace the carpet with hardwood, but I never got around to it. It does give you some insulating value. So, uh, you know, you might want to think about keeping it, but it's up to you. Um, this is the bathroom. It has a double door, and uh, you can see there's a place where you stand. I put an oxygenic uh, uh, shower head with a shut off on it. Uh, I replaced the lighting in here, of course. It's all LED. Um, it's a, a Bedford toilet that's um, connected to a black tank of, uh, I believe, uh, it's, uh, nine gallons or so. Um, it's got a, uh, a medicine cabinet with storage inside. I won't open it because things will come falling out probably uh, and then it's got a ventilator fan uh, usually when I have this thing parked I'll leave this open and then have the ventilator come on on temperature and it keeps it quite cool in here uh, okay and then uh, oh in the front this table it uh, it does you pick it up and you can slide it uh, back and forth a little bit to give you some clearance for the front seat uh, this does not fold down into a bed that I can figure out um, but underneath it, you'll see is the Magnum 2800 watt inverter, which will run everything in the coach. All right, I'll make one last pan around. This is the interior of the 2000 Explorer 230 XLW. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below. Thank you.